you know, I've never been, like, pressed by no one or moved to do a certain thing because someone else is doing it. Hey, you guys. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start this um, video off a little bit weird. It's going to be, like, vlog style, but I'm not doing a vlog. It's just kind of like a mini intro. So, today I went to Home Goods because I had to pick up a couple of things i wanted to get a couple more pictures to hang in my room specifically in this area because i really just felt like it was really like empty super plain and i just needed to like jazz it up just a little bit more i also wanted to get a full-length mirror so that way i can look at my outfits when i try them on and i can not have to focus on a really tiny mirror what i've been using to obviously look at my outfits and stuff is really not big enough literally i've been using this mirror so it took me a long time to get this mirror but i felt like because i changed my room up and i can actually see like the vision that i want for it and how i want my room to look um i did that and then i also went ahead and got a perfume tray because i ran out of space for my perfumes these are some of my perfumes but not all of them and as you can see like i already took up the space from here so now i just have a couple of them hanging out there the perfume tray that i got is like a two-tier one because i just want it to be more stacked and i feel like it's more spacious that way so i will show you guys what i got really quickly and then i'll just set it up and after i set everything up i'll show you guys where i moved everything i want to get to the gym today because the gym closed at 4 30 and i don't like going super late but i also don't like going super early either okay so let me show you what i got basically i got two pink tanks i was gonna get a third one and it had like um this color pink uh cheetah prints around the picture and then like the the brushes had glitter on them but i decided not to get that i felt like i was being too extra and i didn't really know like where i was gonna hang everything because i kind of already have things hung up already so i got this one this is really cute because you guys know i'm a makeup artist and i'm also a makeup kind of girl so i just got that to go with my room and I ended up getting this one that says Hello Gorgeous with some lashes on that. That, that was really, really, really cute. And I felt like these pictures went well with um, the other pictures that I have in my room. I'm going to show you that real quick. So in this little corner of my room, I have like two pictures that says Easily Distracted by Glitter. It's real pretty. And then I have this one that says Wake Makeup is Art. The next item that I got was this perfume tray. Everything is just on here. I'm not really going to set it up here yet. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this stuff, but this is like a perfume tray it's two tiered i absolutely love it and it does fit my perfumes and i actually bought this because i have like shorter perfumes so i feel like it'll fit perfectly in this region right here or i could stack them on top obviously you cannot fit like a huge perfume like this but maybe you could put that on top and the shorter ones at the bottom then i got this candle here this is a sand and fog candles these are the really popular ones i see in kyra um, she purchased one and I think hers was like Tabasco or Tobacco and something else. But they didn't have that one when I went there. But I actually really love this. On the lids, they had like different things that said something. They had one that says, um, be the change you want to see. But I love this one. Faith can move mountains. Matthew 17, 20. Chapter 17, verse 20. You know the vibes. I'm going to try to open it for you guys. Ooh. <laughs> Every time I open this damn candle, I keep scratching it. But you guys, this candle smells so good. It smells, it's called like ocean something. It really smells amazing. It smells so good. But yeah, those are everything that I got. And then I'm gonna show you one more thing. I got this full length mirror. I'm really excited about this because I didn't have one and now I can look at my outfits and see how I look when I get dressed and stuff. Yes. So basically that was everything that I got from Home Goods today and I'm really excited to set everything up. I love when I get new home decor. I absolutely love Home Goods because it just makes me feel really excited when I go in there. Like it makes me excited to get like my own place and decorate and just be extra as hell with my decor. So yeah. And that was it. I just want to show y'all real quick what I got. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't even know why I said that because I'm literally going to join the clips. Welcome, welcome back. It is the next day and I just brushed my teeth, showered, you know, did my baby hairs. And I didn't really style the hair yet. I just kind of like um, blow dried it out. I did add a little bit of oil to it and I blow dried it out because it was a little dry in the ponytail. But honestly, to be, to be completely honest, this hair has been 
really doing me well it's been really soft it's been easy to curl it's been um not tangly at all and it hasn't been dr like dry dry like it really hasn't to be honest so let me show you guys my full length of body mirror that i got from home goods because i didn't set it up yesterday um i couldn't really figure out where i wanted it but i guess i just left it <laughs> where it was and i think it looks really nice here and it was like 79 dollars i felt like i made a good decision and I made like a good purchase because I've always wanted a full body mirror. I just haven't been able to find one that I really, really, really like. I'm really glad that I get it. I wanted to order one on Amazon, but to be honest, like glass and shipping kind of scares me. So I'd rather just go find one and then pick it up. It's really cute, the detailing on it, super adorable. And then obviously my perfume tray. I have all my fragrances up here and all my babies have a little home. And then of course, we have our sand and fog candle omg so yeah check out your local home goods you literally never know what you're gonna find so right now i'm about to do my makeup nothing too crazy really simple i'm gonna do my makeup and then i have to get ready to take some pictures and i want to film two videos i want to film a fragrance haul and then i want to film i have to refilm a portion of a try and haul that came out a little bit blurry so <laughs> when you're watching it you're probably gonna be like girl why is your hair different that's why um let's just jump right into it i'm just gonna sit real quick and do our makeup this is not really gonna be a focus tutorial but i guess if you guys want i could like include the products down below but it's not gonna be like one of those type of tutorials like i'm literally just gonna be doing my makeup um really fast probably so yeah um if you want to do that with me just keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay so it's basically daytime we have natural lighting and i also have like this reflective situation in front of me so that way the light bounces back so we're giving very just i feel like with this um lighting right now i'm getting the best quality like my skin tone and everything is coming out like true to color so i already went ahead and sprayed my face with the anastasia beverly hills dewy set setting spray absolutely love this setting spray it works so good and i'm basically just gonna spray just a little bit more on my face because i just like the way that it makes my skin feel really hydrated you know i live for that <laughs> So I have a little spray bottle here with water. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my beauty blender. It's already clean because I washed all my brushes and stuff yesterday and all my sponges. So happy, like I love clean brushes. Like they just, they just make me happy. The only thing with clean brushes, I feel like it takes me maybe like one to two uses to really break them in and like get it back to like, you know, that type of consistency. So for foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. All right, you guys, I'm back because my camera died. But like I was saying, I already cleaned off my beauty blender. I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've been really liking this one lately. I like the consistency of it. It is slightly a little bit more orange than like my natural skin color. But once I conceal and stuff and all that, it looks pretty good. But yeah, I just want to vent because I just feel like when I went to Home Goods yesterday, I felt so good. Um, in there it just made me so excited to shop and like when I get my potential new place and stuff like that and when I say potential new place is like I plan on moving out you know like I don't plan on living at home for like all my life obviously because you know you grow you want to expand you want to like venture out and just be like on your grown woman shit you know yeah that's just how i've been feeling lately it just made me really excited and hyped and also kind of impatient too because i know everything works in god's timing and i am really indecisive sometimes when it comes to certain things so i do a lot of planning because i feel like when i plan it makes me feel better about my decisions and obviously i feel like <laughs> I feel like it should be like that with everyone, but not everyone works like that. Some people just um, make decisions on a whim. They just kind of like go with the flow, like, you know, spur the moment. But like, no, me, like I have to like sit and plan things out. Make sure this is exactly what I want to do. Make sure exactly that's what I'm putting my time in. Blending out your foundation is so annoying because it takes so long. 
Okay, so now I feel like I have like a nice little base to work with. It just made me get really excited and feel like kind of impatient as well because like I said, I know everything works in God's timing and I'm just ready to make like another like monumental step in my life. I am saving to get a car so soon I will be getting a new car and I'm really excited for that. Um, I feel like, like yeah, it's just a car or whatever and I get whatever car I like but I don't know, I also want something really nice. You know, so I don't want to just get any car just because I have the money. I want to make sure, like, I make the right decision on what car I'm going to get. And that's how I feel like, okay, it's annoying because I'm being super patient about it. But at the same time, it's like, I just want to find the right car. I don't know. It's all just, like, low-key overwhelming because I don't really know too much about cars. I just know, like, how I want to look in it or whatever or whatever i don't know like specs and shit i just don't want like you know you want the basics in your car you want bluetooth ac maybe like a, a sunroof whatever they <laughs> i'm just gonna let that sit and drive but yeah i just been like super excited but also nervous about that don't know why i'm nervous um i get nervous about i guess a lot of like steps in my life when it's like comes to like major decisions i was getting nervous other than that um i'm working on something that is new to me but i feel like i've been kind of paying attention to like the posts and stuff that i've been posting on instagram and in the past i've always gotten more likes on like maybe like my outfit and fashion posts so i feel like i really wanted to concentrate on that because i did do like a um i don't know if you know it's hot chick but i did i did her content creator class like twice she did a meet and greet and she did a content creator type of class where she kind of just taught us to um pay attention to like our algorithms on instagram and just like um what our followers are responding to what people like the most and i felt like i got a lot of like um i got a lot of like positive responses and a lot of likes on like the full body pics and also like when i post like fashion stuff so i feel like i wanted to really like focus on that this year and really like work on my YouTube because I feel like if I want to do this, I want to get far. Taking breaks is not really going to like help me, you know. Taking breaks is not going to get me anywhere. And that's with anybody, you know. And it's like sometimes I feel like I need to take breaks. Because I'm just that type of person where it's like I need mental breaks in order for me to function. Like I cannot just keep going, 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 going and never stop. I need to like retreat. I need to take a moment to step back. But I feel like with me, maybe I need to kind of schedule my moments. I wouldn't say schedule my moments, but kind of like learn how to balance you know taking a break and just like totally just shutting down you know because i feel like sometimes i'll go ghost for so long and it's not i wouldn't say it's not healthy because i feel like for me it is a healthy coping mechanism and i enjoy that but yeah i feel like for me it's a healthy coping mechanism like me just going away for a little bit disappearing going to my own little world and then popping back out once i feel better you know, I don't like to like drown people in my problems and like, you know, let people know too much like what I'm going through. And that's just me, you know, it's just not, it's not just cause like, I feel like I'm bothering anybody. It just is how I work. I feel like I function better that way. But at the same time, I don't want it to affect, you know, other aspects of my life. Cause you know, it could possibly.
Okay, I just had to go ahead and bake for a quick little minute because I feel like that takes me a long time and I can't really talk and do that. I feel like also too, I really want to work on my social media presence just because I feel like, not saying I'm not a social media type of girl, I just feel like it's not always the end all be all. Some days I'm like, oh, really into it. Other days I'm not, like other days I really just want to take a break from the world. <laughs> even delete my Instagram like I've thought about it yes I have and it's like I really don't want to delete my Instagram because like I said I do makeup it helps me get business it helps me get clientele but yeah so pretty much that's how I feel like just like I just want to be more on social media but not really for clout per se just to really like push my brand I really want to focus on my YouTube now that I'm not like working full time anymore. Um, I strictly just, you know, freelance, makeup, and, you know, invest my money other ways. So eventually, yes, I would want to do YouTube full time. Like if uh, it takes me there, but, you know, like I said, you have to be really consistent. You can't, um, this is not something you do like when you feel like it or. Just sometimes this is something like you really have to like be dedicated and really like really get into it. I really like this brush that I got from that um that Sigma brush that it's really 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 nice. I feel like it tapers this part of my chin so nicely where I don't have to go like this. I could just literally go like this and it does the job for me. I was gonna use this to contour my nose, but I was like, nah bruh don't fucking do it so yeah so tell me if y'all be feeling like that because it's like so much things that i want to do but sometimes i psych myself out of doing it honestly getting the surgery it really showed me like okay girl like if you could do this you could do anything like this was like really major i've never had like a major surgery ever before like ever been put under any of that but yeah i felt like this surgery was definitely something major like i've never done something like this before this is like really risky like like i was really shook and i was really just praying to god like okay i hope we make it alive i hope we make it alive but pretty much um i just always like psych myself out sometimes like when i do certain things or i overthink something i end up not doing it i'm about to do my brows off camera real quick and then come back i don't want this video to be too long but i also want to say everything i'm saying and not have to cut out any parts so for brows basically i just use the brow gal by tanya crooks um this is the convertible brow in the sh in the shade number two i didn't like clean up the brows yet but i just wanted to fill that in off camera to save us some time. So I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but basically I felt like getting the surgery really showed me like, okay, it's okay to be scared, but don't let it like limit you. If you really want to go out there and do something, um, obviously make sure it is the right decision. You're making a cautious decision. You've done your research, especially if it's something um, that's like that, where you need to do your research then I feel like go ahead and do it. But yeah, as long as you're being cautious about it and just sure about the decision that you're making, like you're making decisions for you and not for anyone else. And even if you do it for someone else, like make sure it's like your child or, you know, like maybe a really important family member that you're doing it for, like, you know, your parents or whatever the case may be, but not like no man or because you've seen some other girls doing it or whatever the case may be, like make sure it's something that's like true to you and that you wanted to do for yourself, you know? Like for me, I felt like I never really like liked my arms. So I always wanted to get arm lipo, but it just kind of worked out that I ended up getting everything because, you know, I don't regret getting either. I'm happy with both my decisions that I made. And yeah, I feel as long as you're happy, do what, do what makes you happy. Honestly happy, not just fake happy for the gram. But pretty much, um, I wanted to get like a little like part-time job or something just so I could um, keep like a really steady income because I do freelance full-time now. And because of the pandemic, business has slowed down. So I was doing really well prior to the pandemic. And then because of the pandemic, a lot of business slowed down. People aren't really going out as much. So obviously 
um, people aren't getting their makeup done as much. I had a lot of weddings that I had um, received deposits for and stuff like that that ended up getting canceled because of the whole coronavirus or I should say COVID. I don't know if we're allowed to say like coronavirus, COVID or whatever on YouTube. I heard like you're not like if they censor stuff like that so i'm not trying to get censored but yeah so right now i really don't feel like this pandemic is letting up per se like like you might be feeling like more free to do what you want and go about but when i say like letting up like you can really go out like that i don't really feel like it's getting like that in my opinion maybe in the future when things die down but right now I think things are still gonna be it's like basically 2020 part two like we already had that crazy situation in the white house the other day and i don't really like speaking on stuff like that but best believe baby like if they were black like that would have went like totally 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 left there would be a lot of people that would have been killed in my opinion like and I'm not saying that to like think negatively or just think the worst, but come on now. You've seen the history, you've seen the shit that has went down taking place. I feel like, yeah, it would have been worse. You know, it is, I wouldn't even say it is what it is because it sucks to even say that. But I feel like people are really waking up to like what is going on in our country, you know? I'm really into these Fenty um, little little palettes of the mix and match eyeshadow palettes from Fenty Beauty. This one is in the shade number three. I really like this number three one because it has more like matte shades and I just like the neutral matte shades like on my lid. Also like that you could pick up different ones and play around with it. It's some crazy shit going on in this world but am I gonna let it totally disrupt me and affect like how I move? No because I don't feel like it should. Yeah, so that's just how I've been feeling like, yeah, it's stuff going on in this world, but you cannot let it, like, disrupt your whole vibe. You need to learn how to adjust to it. So that's what I've been doing, just adjusting. To be honest, I feel like I don't really get super stressed out because it's like, like I was saying, I take mental breaks. So I feel like if I get too overwhelmed, I will take a step back and take a break. So I feel like I deal with stress really, really well. Like, I rarely, rarely ever get upset about certain things. Usually when my lashes are on, I usually just put on like a bigger wing. So I'm gonna put on some lashes. These are the Eye Envy lashes. Um, they're pretty good to be honest. And I'm glad that she sent me a lot of pairs because I like them. <laughs> okay. Now when I need some lashes that are like quick and I know they're gonna look good or even if I need to like restock for my clientele kit, I know what lashes to get now. These are really pretty and they look pretty good on most of my clientele. But yeah, so being at Home Goods just made me really excited. Like I really been like thinking about moving to Atlanta. Like I just want something different. I've always lived in Florida besides like growing up in the islands and the Caribbean and stuff. I've always lived in Florida. So I just been wanting like something new, something different. Oop. Maybe I should have left my eyes closed a little longer. So yeah, I'm just putting a little mascara on. This one is from Tarte. When it comes to mascaras, I'm not really picking on which one I use or whatever case may be, as long as it is um, vegan or just like hypoallergenic, just safe for the eyes because I don't really like too much around my eyes, as you guys can tell. I be doing the bare minimum when it comes to stuff around my eyes. So while those um, lashes, while the lash glow and the lashes dry, let's like um, talk a little bit more. So yeah, I feel like a lot of people always DM me and they're like, oh my God, I'm so inspired by you. Cause like, you know, you're out there doing your thing and you stuck to it like since day one and you never like really like change your beat. And it's like, yeah, I've never changed my beat, but like that's what you need to do in life to be successful. Especially when you want to be successful at a certain thing, you just can't um do it one day and then not do it the next and then do it one day and not do it the next you have to be consistent and you have to stick to what you're doing i kind of master like the makeup tip when it comes to just like slaying faces and all that stuff and i just really want to branch out and do more like just do other things i like to do i love fashion i like obviously i love makeup i could do something in that field but fashion makeup hair 
like those are all things that I'm into. So I want to kind of like make a good living off of stuff that I enjoy doing. I've never been the type of person that um, takes interest in things that don't interest me. I've never been the type of person like, oh, I'm just doing something for the money. Like I've never had a job where it's just like, I'm just doing this for the money. It's like whatever job I was at, I genuinely liked something about it that actually kept me there. But once I started feeling like, oh, like this is not for me, like I'm not enjoying it no more, I'm out. It's okay to be like that because I feel like when something doesn't serve you anymore, like there's no reason to stick around. There's no reason to hang around in places where you don't feel like you're wanted, needed, or even if like you feel like that's just not where you're supposed to be, like, you know? Because I've been in a situation where people are like, oh my God, this is such a great fit for you, but deep down in your heart, you know, like, okay, I'm, I'm supposed to be somewhere else. I'm supposed to be doing something better. This is not for me. And that's okay. Like, you don't have to put yourself in a box. And I've always been that type of person. So I feel like sometimes when, I don't know, sometimes I feel like a little pressure to be like other people or pursue certain things like other people. And it's like, that's not what I want to do. That's not what's going to make me happy. So even if I really did do that, it's like, I'm just putting on the front. Okay, boom. So lashes are on. It took me a little bit, a little minute to put my lashes on for some reason. Like I got this um, brand new bottle of hair glue. Y'all know I use hair glue on my lashes. Don't do what I do. Do what is true to you. That's what I always say. Um, I've always used this. You've been using this from high school. But for some reason, maybe I need to get a different brand because I don't like how this one. This one is like super watery. It takes a long time to dry. I feel like my lashes are crooked. So I'm just gonna spray my face one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and change my battery because it is dying. Once you put that setting spray on, it literally makes your face just glow. It just makes your, your makeup pop. It just makes everything stand out. Am I gonna put on blush today? Mm, I'll put on like a little bit. I don't want too much. I'm not sure, but I need to get an orange blush because I've been feeling very peachy lately. So I mix two blushes. You know my favorites. I always use these two. The Bare Minerals and then the MAC blush. I have my flat iron um, heating up. So I'm just going to pop some curls into that. I'm going to go ahead and switch my battery out. Come back and then you can finish up this entire look. I feel much better that I'm talking to you guys and just getting certain things off my chest because, you know, sometimes you just need to vent, you know? Okay, perfect. So that is on. Let's pick a lip color. You guys know my jam. Like, I always do a brown. Um... <laughs> I always do a brown lip liner. I got my AirPods in because I'm listening to this show on YouTube and I I be needing stuff to listen to when I'm getting ready because it just makes me feel um like I'm I'm moving at a, a good pace, you know, if I'm keeping up with the show and and stuff like that. I don't know. Okay, so for lip liner I'm just gonna be taking Mac Chestnut. And then for lips, what I want to use, where's my lip gloss? I'm going to put on the lip gloss today because that's just how I'm feeling. I'm going to be using this lip gloss. Like I said, it's for my friend's brand. Um, she does have like a skincare um, brand as well that she pushes. So I'll link that down below. But maybe you guys can convince her to bring this lip color back because it's just so pretty. Look at it. It's like the perfect pinky brown 
like pinky brown nude. Look how cute that is. Baby. I'm just going over my lips and kind of just cleaning up the, the liner. Now this is really cute. Should I do my hair on camera? I guess I can since I'm already here. Might as well. I'm just gonna hurry up and do this hair. Because I wanna take pictures. Like I like taking it in the daylight, but I don't like taking it when the sun is literally blazing hot and your makeup gets all sweaty. It doesn't last long. And I like this flat. Ooh, it's hot. Is she hot? She's been here for a while. She's been staying here for a while. <laughs> but it's real easy to like style this hair i feel like it holds like the oils really nicely you know like some hair it like you you will put like a serum on it and i feel like it soaks up the serum and it just makes the hair really like thick and heavy like this doesn't do that it'll soak up the serum but it doesn't make it feel like you got a whole bunch of product in your hair and I never want to feel like I got like a bunch of product in my hair simply because it just feels heavy. It doesn't feel clean. I feel like nasty. I feel like I just want to like wash the hair and get like a whole new wig or something. But pretty much you could section this hair off into like break it down, you know, bust it down in two down the middle and then section these parts off into four. And I feel like you have like a really nice set of just like effortless type of curls. I would say like they're barrel curls, but not really barrel curls, but they're classy. I feel really pretty when I wear uh, hair like this. And sometimes I do have to go back over the same like area, but that's okay, like I don't mind. And then you can kind of just go through the areas where you feel like it needs a little bit more curls. So you don't have to really like section off this hair like in any particular type of section. You just, basically you just grab and pull where you feel like you need like a little volume, a little curl or whatever. Like if I were to look at this, I'd be like, okay, well I feel like right here it needs a curl because it's not really doing nothing. So I'll just go back over that. And then maybe towards like up here. I feel like you definitely need to do the top. <laughs> Just because I feel like that's where you get a lot of the flyaways. So you don't want this part to be like messy. real cute and I'm I'm the type of girl like pushing stuff behind my ears in the meantime I'm gonna plug this thing up here this is the like hot comb and I like using the hot comb for like the top of my hair it really lays like the baby hairs and everything like down really smoothly which I kind of already did that like while I laid my baby hairs down earlier but I mean like the flyaway hairs it helps that to lay really nicely so I'm gonna take this out of hair and just put it in the back and we're gonna do the same thing. I always start like at the bottom, section that off and apply one of these cause that'll keep the hair like out the face. And for the bottom, I tend to take a little bit longer doing the bottom, I guess, because with certain angles at the bottom, it doesn't tend to like hold a curl. So I go a little bit slower at the bottom. But anyways, I hope you guys understand what I was saying earlier. Basically, I'm just saying like, I'm just in one of those phases of my life where it's just like, it may look scary, it may be scary, but you never know until you like literally freaking do it. You literally have to do it and see if that's like something you want to do or like, you know, like if you're even good at it, like you might be good at one thing, but you never know until like you maybe try something else. Like I said, like you don't know if that's the only thing you're good at or the only thing you can do. Eventually, I do want to have my own 
like cosmetic line maybe just starting off with like lip products first setting powder like my favorites you know because i feel like for me my favorites when i do my makeup is definitely like baking i love brow products i love lip products and i love lashes and also highlight too but i feel like highlight um they're not really that hard to like master like i already know like the consistency of, of type of highlighters that i like i like it really smooth buildable not too chunky i don't like a lot of glitters in my highlight that's really what i've been like moved to do lately and really focus on not just like doing makeup and stuff so sometimes i feel like oh maybe i should post more like makeup content on my page however it's like not saying i don't want to post makeup content i do it's just like Am I really inspired by that as much as I used to be? Before where it was just like, I was just really, really like into posting like all of my work, all of my, all of my content, like every single client I do. I don't feel like I need to let everyone know exactly what I'm doing at every step of the way. Especially if I'm working on something that's new. I like to wait till it's done and then announce things. When it comes to like my content, I feel like I don't always want to post like I'm really sweaty right now, like my nose is sweating and I could tell that it's sweaty. <laughs> like I was saying, like I've never really been the type to always like brag about what I'm doing or like be really show off -y. And Some people accomplish all these things and they put it on the internet, but I also feel like I like moving in silence, okay? Like I don't really feel like I want everyone to know what I do, what I'm involved with, as long as like my pockets are good, I'm making money, I'm not stressed out and I'm like actually happy in real life then that's really all I care about. You know, I've never been like pressed by no one or moved to do a certain thing because someone else is doing it. I just took a little bit of this matrix serum and put it right on top of my hair. And like I said, don't be afraid to like just touch up any of the curls that you may need to use that to brush down the flyaway hairs and it really does work okay so this is the final look i'm just gonna put on a little bit of more lip gloss because i feel like with this lip color it's turning more brown than i like it to be i don't really like a super dark lip i like a dark liner but then like a really pink or pinky brown inside so i'm just gonna blot it a little bit So this is the final look, you guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, this chit chat, get ready with me, a little vent session, let me know. Um, it feels real good because I don't really get too personal sometimes. I really try to keep like my private life private and everything I go through on the low. And yeah, it's a person me. So if you guys really enjoyed like this type of thing, let me know, comment down below, thumbs up it, make sure you subscribe, of course. Cause like I said, we've been consistent all year round. I am gonna go ahead and get dressed and get ready to take these pictures because it is getting a little bit dark outside. It is 417 right now. And I don't wanna waste any more time. I don't think I did that with my makeup. I don't think I did that because you just know you just know okay i feel like my jawline wasn't as snatched and defined but yeah i am out of here thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one see the description box for everything that i use in this tutorial this is the final look i just paired it with this really cute fashion nova dress i will link the dress down below i paired it with this really cute Mimi Glow like dumpling bag. But take a Veneta inspired. And this is the rest of the outfit. And these are just some brown heels that I got from Fashion Nova. And I'll also link that down below. But pretty much this is the final look. I'm so happy that I got this full body mirror guys because it really helps. Let's choose a fragrance because why not, right? We want to smell pretty when we're taking these pictures. I'm going to put on Bearberry Her. <laughs> she smells so pretty. Just sweet and just 
you know what I mean? Y'all need this in your life. It just smells so good. All right, you guys. So that is it for the final look, the full tutorial. Um, my chit chat, get ready with me. If you like more um, get ready's like that or just chatty, just venting, let me know. Comment down below. Um, I absolutely love this look. It looks really pretty. I'm excited to take pictures. But yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on my social medias at asiad.beauty on Instagram. I don't have Twitter. I don't have Facebook. None of that she, okay? Um, so yes, it's lit over there on my Instagram, all right? So I will see you guys later because I'm getting hot and I'm getting sweaty and I'm just ready to take these pics.